let's start uh, with the Yankees and what they've been able to accomplish so far. And Jack, it started with that kind of slow burn. It got to the winter meetings, and finally the news of Aaron Judge broke. And then just recently, Carlos Rodon. As you said in your poem there, Bob, there's still work to be done. But imagine where we would be right now if the Yankees didn't have Aaron Judge to talk about. So there are things that had to happen across this offseason. The number one thing that had to happen was Aaron Judge and the Yankees had to figure out a way to come back together. The Yankees didn't want to envision a world without him. He is the most popular player on the team. He's the face of the franchise. He's the reigning MVP. And I don't think Judge in his heart of hearts really wanted to think about a world without the Yankees. He now gets to stay as a Yankee. He can follow in the footsteps of the likes of Jeter, Posada, Mariano, people who have played their entire career with the Yankees. Yeah, when Aaron Judge re-signed with the Yankees, we were talking about a move that had to be made, but then it was, okay, now you got to get better. you got to find a way to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Houston Astros with your roster. And Brian Cashman, the front office, the Steinbrenner family, they have done it again, bringing Rodon in. So now you have arguably maybe one of the best rotations in baseball. You can't forget about the Rizzo signing coming back. That was so important. I know Tommy Canely is not a huge addition to that bullpen but he's going to help out there so there are a lot of moves now that the Yankees are making trying to get them over the hump to try to get back to that world championship.